Hi, it's Matt Ward here. Um, okay, so today we're looking at VCV Rack, and you can see it on the screen there it's on vcvrack.com. Go ahead and download it for what operating system you have. It's free and it's a cracking open source virtual modular synthesizer, allowing you to test all those really expensive Euro Rack modules for nothing. So fantastic. Let's get stuck in. Uh, I want to look at some basic setup of just standard VCO, uh, VCA, ADSR, and just kind of getting your hardware keyboard working as a MIDI trigger. So I'm going to set up a patch which looks a little bit like that, that, and core MIDI in, VCO, using an envelope to trigger it over time, and VCA to trigger and open the volume envelopes, and uh, an audio output module. So by loading VCV you're presented with an empty bunch of racks that are unlimited in terms of how many modules you want to load. It's just based on processor power and you simply right click on an empty space and then you can search through the different modules. You can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that I've downloaded and there's loads of free and paid for ones that you can download from the website. So we'll get stuck in. And on our resources drive, we have a bunch of different modules from Audible Instruments, Perfaco, all the fundamental uh, modules that come with the um, application. And to start with, you could start to look at the fundamental series, which are basically all of the standard modules that you use. And don't underestimate them as well. They might appear a little bit basic at the beginning, but there's limitless stuff that you can do with these things. Okay, so first point of call is to find yourself a MIDI module. So you can either use the search, um, <coughs> see if you can find something uh, by tapping keywords in, or you can look through the selection in the previous window. I'm just going to click on MIDI. MIDI has um, a device setting. All of the input and output modules have this device setting, so you can kind of select what your keyboard is. I'm just using a little Akai MP MPK Mini, so I'm just going to select that. And I'm going to be needing the CV and the gate outputs. So the CVs work at 0.5 to volts at one volt per octave in the real modular world, and the gates are just on-off triggers, like a almost like a little pulse that will just tell it to play. So next steps is to find yourself a VCO. So again, you can search for VCO and look down the list. The fundamental VCO one. That's ample, has your normal kind of basic sin, sine, triangle, saw, square waves, pulse width modulation, pitch, and some fine tuning, etc. So, by routing the CV input to the voltage per octave, will allow us to change pitch by moving up and down the keyboard. And then we're going to need a way to just kind of trigger and open this sound uh, over time. So, we need a bunch of envelopes and VCAs. So by searching for VCA, there we go, what have we got? Let's have a look down through this list. So VCA1 is a one channel VCA and VCA2 is a two channel VCA. So you have two channels rather than just the one. So we'll use the two channel one in case we want to expand later on. Okay, and then let's load in a envelope, ADSR. Okay, that's a different range of modules that I'm using, so I'm just going to stick to the fundamentals as we go through these, but there are a whole different bunch of envelopes that you can use. You see that says fundamental next to it, so it's the ones that come with the program. Okay, so using my gate, I'm going to use the gate and route that into the ADS envelope. So I'm starting to trigger my keyboard now. You can see it activating. I'm just going to turn down the attack because it might just uh, not play a sound because it will be fading in at the beginning might be a little bit off-putting to so turn down your attack because they're all set to 12 o'clock as standard and then you're going to need to route that gate to open up your VCA which is gonna basically just move this volume knob like so every time we trigger the keyboard so 
I'm going to use exponential because it's a bit more natural to the human hearing, whereas linear is in a bit of a straight line and perhaps might sound a little bit more natural if we're doing kind of extreme envelope tweaks. And then what I need to do is I need to route the oscillator into the VCA. The oscillator is always oscillating, so it's playing right now and just as soon as we route it into an output, it would just be playing and being constant. <coughs> Let's just demonstrate that. What we'll need is an audio output. So by searching audio, clicking on audio, you then have your output module. So let's just route that saw into the output and select our output of our sound card. I'm using an Allen Heath desk at the moment. So let's select that. Disconnect that. So we need a way of controlling that over time. So I'm going to route the output of the saw into the input of the VCA and then the output of the VCA into the sound card. So by bringing up the volume level, I now have a way of triggering this VCA via an envelope. Give it a bit more volume. There you go. At the moment that's only running on the left speaker because I've routed it to um, just channel one input and then it automatically routes it out to one and two as it was saying here which is one and two output. Um, a neat little trick as well which took me a little bit of a while to work out in the initial stages was if you route um, the output straight to the other one you're obviously going to have it coming out of both speakers but if you've got a multi output sound card with eight outputs you on your drop down menu you normally get a kind of one to two or a one to eight or six to eight output etc by selecting either of those different outputs will enable these outputs here so for example if you had a four point naught surround sound quadraphonic setup you might want to set all four outputs and route those out to your speakers so pretty nice okay so there you go basic setup of MIDI keyboard and we'll move on to something a little bit more tasty from here. <laughs> 